Hey everybody, Steve Weiss here from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm a biology teacher, now I'm an online biology teacher, and I've got a lot of energy. Why? Because I've had 19 cups of coffee and I've been in solitary confinement for the past three weeks. <laughs> Okay, so we are making these masks now, right? Well, what if we can't sew? I can't sew. So what? You could still make a cloth mask. Here's what I did. You could take a t-shirt, cut the bottom off. How about that? And then you fold it in half and then you get yourself duct tape. That's right, duct tape. You tape it on the top you tape it on the bottom, put two holes in, and you got yourself a nice little cloth mask. This is three layers of cotton thick, okay? So again, that's what it looks like. If you don't want to use a t-shirt, hey, get that shirt that you really hate. Ugh, it's ugly. If you want to look like a cowboy or go country western, some people do have bandanas. They work fine as well. But you've got other stuff around. You've got um, towels, you've got washcloths, you've got dishcloths, you've got undies, I'm not throwing those. You got socks, you got gloves, you've got a hat, okay? All those things can be cut, and then using duct tape, it makes it all look good, all right? Now, to attach it, you can use uh, rubber bands. Uh, those are really nice, and you can attach it using duct tape, or you could even take a stapler and attach it. If you don't have rubber bands, you can use a string. If you don't have string, shoelaces work really well. If you don't have shoelaces, uh, maybe you have some wire hanging around. Maybe you've got 9,000 of these USB connectors. These will make great little straps for your ears. Let's take one second and talk about our eyes, okay? Because fingers in the eyes, that's an issue. You can cover your mouth, that's all hunky-dory, but you wanna keep your fingers out of your eyes. So, wear your sunglasses, okay? If you don't have sunglasses, you can either buy yourself reading glasses, or at my age, I have to have reading glasses, and even though it's gonna make everything look blurry, if I have to go out and get some groceries somewhere, I cannot touch my eyes, no matter how hard I try. Now, combine that with this, and you've got not 100% protection, but you've got protection, okay? Now, I wanna give you two other ideas. Whew, sorry about that, I forgot to breathe. <laughs> Another idea. This is a vacuum cleaner bag, a replacement bag. Now these are kind of nice because they're already made to kind of eliminate a lot of dust particles from getting out. Some people who have allergies, take this little puppy, it's two layers thick, and cut it out like this. 12 inches from here to here, six inches here to here, and about two inches there. I'm using a rubber band that's just stapled on either side. Now, if you put it on, there's a problem. It doesn't really hug your nose all that well. Not well at all. So, you got a lot of space here. Here's what you do. Take a paper clip, open the paper clip up. Stick it onto a piece of, yes, duct tape once again. Take that and put it right here, okay, at the top. There you go. So now you've got your little paper clip right there. Now you're going to work the paper a little bit. It's a little thick, okay? Put it around your ear and your other ear. And now, I have very little ears, sorry. And now you just push it over your nose. Okay? We're not out to really look all that great right now, okay? So yeah, you're wearing, uh, you know, a vacuum cleaner bag on your face. I don't know. I think I kind of 
look good, actually. So uh, another idea besides the cloth. Now the other day in my boredom, I was cleaning and I was using a uh, one of those little uh, those these things that sprays the cleaner out and then you you zhuzh it back and forth. Well, um, I was looking at this, which is a cleaning pad, a replacement pad, and I'm thinking, hey, oh, this would make an excellent mask if you don't want to cut anything up like clothing. It's no problem. Take this little puppy and cut it the same way as we did with the uh, vacuum cleaner bag. Six inches, 12 inches, two inches. And again, all I did was take some rubber bands, two of them, and staple them to either side. Now, again, the bridge of my nose is gonna be a problem. So I did the same thing. I took duct tape and a paper clip, and I'm gonna put it at the very top, just like that. Now, the great thing about these, um, this happens to be a Swiffer, but there are a lot of different types of these uh, replacement pads. It's plastic coated, nice. So when you wear it and you go out for your one grocery trip, you can clean it with uh, wipes, you can spray it with disinfectant spray or wipe it down with a nice solution of bleach. Now, you put it around your ears and now you're gonna push this little sucker right over the bridge of your nose. And you got yourself a mask. And make it a little tighter. There we go. <sighs> yes, you're wearing a mop head on your face, but it works. What are you going to do? Don't forget, protect your eyes. That's really important. And maintain social distance when you're going into the grocery stores. All right? Hashtag masks for all. Take care. God bless.